Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about my tarot and self-worth coaching package that just launched. So as you know, if you've been following me on Instagram over the last week, I have done a daily tarot poll every day this week and that was really to gear up for this big launch and I am so excited that these tarot and self-worth coach sessions are finally here. But I just wanted to make this video so that I can answer any questions that you have, tell you more about this service and everything that it involves and why I'm doing it. So as you know, I've been a self-worth coach for a while, which is just similar to life coaching and I absolutely love it, but one thing that I've noticed is, you know, with my self-worth package, it is a three-month package. And so, you know, that's a longer time commitment for someone to work with me. And through my last two or three years of working with tarot, I have just had so many intense breakthroughs from tarot or from lessons that I kind of am learning and thinking about, but then when it that same lesson emerges in a tarot reading, it just kind of brings all these ideas together and lets me know what I should be focusing on, where I should ground my energy for the next week, what lessons are important, and maybe what things I don't really wanna hear, but that I do have to face. And so tarot really allows me to personalize and get right to the point of whatever lessons we want to uncover while we're working together. And you know, something that I've also noticed as a coach, especially when it comes to one-time sessions is, you know, I work with a lot of clients online and through Zoom and when you're making an introduction, especially in a one-on-one -on -one session, that person might not always, you know, you as a client might not always know what to say to me or how to introduce yourself or how to kind of bring me into all of the problems or struggles or, you know, just the mindset that you have in this moment. And it's hard as a coach to kind of get a feel for someone immediately online because there's so much that's different about being online versus being in person, obviously. And there's so many of those cues that you're not going to be able to pick up on when you're doing a Zoom call. So because of that, tarot really allows me to synthesize the lessons that we are going to be diving into. So you may not always know, you know, what I need to know about you or what I need to know about your life. And it's hard to get to the bottom of that before really even starting a call. You know what I mean? So how this begins and what this call and service actually looks like is, you know, we sit down for a 60 minute one on one session on Zoom. It starts with the meditation. And um, after that short meditation, we pretty much just jump into a general reading. So that means that I'll ask you, you know, if you came into this with any specific questions or a specific decision that you're wondering about making. And if not, then I'll just ask you to walk me through, you know, how you've been feeling, what is coming up for you, any struggles you've been having. If you are just feeling good and lighthearted and you're not necessarily feeling down or struggling with anything, then I'll just ask you to talk me through how good that energy feels for you and just where you are. And so from that, I'll be able to draw a few cards and we can kind of dive into what tarot wants you to know or what a lesson is that's important for you right now. And from there, we'll go into our coaching. So it really allows me to kind of cut through all the noise and cut through, you know, what you think you might need or what I think you might need and actually jump to a source that's going to help us kind of dive into that together. So after that short general reading in the call, the next portion of the call will be a self-worth reading. So if you follow me and you're interested in building and developing your self-worth, you know that self-worth is intrinsic, but sometimes you still struggle with not feeling good enough like all of us do. So this reading will really allow me to figure out where you are on your self-worth journey and help us kind of come up with a few lessons that are important for you to remember or to think about or to journal on to help you kind of develop that intrinsic self sense of self-worth and so after that portion of the reading the rest of the time is really just left for coaching to talk through you know what we've uncovered and what we've learned together to answer any questions that you have that's really what the structure of the actual zoom coaching call will be like and then after that is really where a lot of the magic happens so after the call i will email you a recorded session of the call so you'll be able to watch it back in video if you'd like to and of course that goes nowhere else it's just for you um, no one else is ever going to see that it's completely private and along with sending you that recording of the session you're also going to get a full breakdown of themes that emerged lessons that are important and really just a full massive like synthesis of everything that's important for you to know to remember um, and just 
other things that have come up for me as a coach that I wanted to tell you after our call. So along with that, you are also going to get a detailed list of next steps. So um, I've had things like, you know, self-care sessions and kind of a, a structure of formatting a day. I've had things like that come up in readings. I've had things related to, um, you know, clients' business that they want to remember or to take action on. Um, I've also had things come up with just mindset and limiting beliefs and mantras and reminders. Um, so all those kinds of things, even journal projects prompts and you know why those journal prompts are important all of that will be compiled in a list of just next steps that you can take so whether you want to take a month or a few months and work through those at your own pace you could kind of use that to structure your personal growth over the next year or if you you know are ready to dive in deep you can do those right after the call and just kind of work through them as quickly as you would like. But that's all meant to be self-paced. So that email again will include the recorded session, a detailed summary and list of themes and lessons, and then a detailed list of next steps. So after you get all of that, that's what you would get if you purchase either package of this service. So there is one package called the strength package, which includes everything that you just heard. And there's a second package called the star package. And that includes everything that you just heard along with seven days of email access to me. So if you are working through some journaling prompts, if you had a lot of limiting beliefs come up in your reading and you are still kind of working through those and trying to understand what they mean or where they all come from, if you just want additional support and someone to talk you through the next steps, if you feel like, you know, personal growth is something that you procrastinate on or feel overwhelmed by, that this is the perfect resource for you to email me as many questions as you have during that week-long period and I will get back to you once a weekend or once every 24 hours. So you get that almost immediate response of guiding you and along your journey and really just supporting you and being there for you. And it doesn't have to be things that you're struggling with. If you want to just share, you know, wins that you've had or awesome things that you've done and you just want support in that positive way as well, that's absolutely fine. And that's something that we can also use that um, email access for. So that's kind of the general structure of the call and the offering. And I also just wanted to touch on a couple of other questions that you might have. So one, what if you're not familiar with tarot? The cool thing about tarot and about this package is that it relates so much to your day-to-day -day life. Like you might consider tarot to be this old kind of archaic thing or a lot of the images of tarot you've seen might be kind of overwhelming or kind of hard to understand, um, but really for me, tarot is something that just translates to your day-to-day -day experiences. It's so real and it's so relatable and it's really just about daily life. And what I love about combining it with self-worth coaching as well is that I can kind of take that extra time and that portion where we are focused on coaching to really break down what that tarot reading might mean for you in your life personally and where it might exactly fit in. And so that's what I love about combining them. And you don't need to be familiar in tar with tarot at all. I've had, you know, readings for a couple of clients who weren't familiar with the first thing about tarot. And I've also had readings with clients that are very familiar with tarot. And they both were able to get a lot out of this service. So um, don't be afraid. Don't feel like you have to sit around and, you know, do a bunch of research before signing up. It's not like that at all. And another question is, you know, is tarot religious? What if you are of a certain religion and you're not sure if tarot is something that will fit in in your belief system? And that's completely okay. You know, for me, I know a lot of people that are different religions that use tarot. I know people that are Christian, Hindu, Catholic. Um, Buddhists that all use tarot and use it as a tool for inspiration and motivation and just as an, an additional tool for kind of daily lessons and I think that's amazing tarot is not inherently religious so it's not something that you know you have to believe a certain religion or subscribe to a certain belief system to use tarot however if you feel like it strongly is just not part of your religion and you don't wish to use tarot but you still want to work with me that's completely fine I actually already have one-on-one -on -one sessions that are just for self-worth coaching and not using tarot at all and that is also linked through my website those are available and ready to purchase as well um, so you are welcome to utilize that resource if you just feel like tarot isn't the right thing for you so what if you're not sure if tarot and self-worth coaching is the right thing for you but it does seem kind of interesting and you're intrigued what you can do is you can hop onto my instagram 
TVs or on my YouTube channel, I also have a playlist called Tarot for Self-Worth. So you are welcome to hop onto any of those resources. They're always available and they're always free for you. And you can see if the reading kind of makes sense or you're interested in the process of how one card can mean so much. So you are welcome to use any of those resources or, you know, just do your own research. There are so many tarot readers out there and you might find, you know, one out there that just speaks to you the way you need to hear it. I think that's honestly it for this video. Like I said, all of the details to this service, so much more information, my client testimonials are all going to be linked in my Instagram stories. They're going to be saved on my Instagram highlights. It's also going to be linked through the link in my bio. And if you're watching this on YouTube, then don't worry. The link to sign up for this service and to learn more is going to be in the description below. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for joining me again on this whole week of tarot. And um, I'm so excited about this service. So I can't wait to hear what you think. If you have any other questions that you want from me, then definitely let me know in the comments below. I can always make a second video about this. And also I am gonna be continuing tarot polls on Instagram. I am so excited. So I'm gonna be doing one tarot poll per week on IGTVs. So be on the lookout for that. Thank you all so much again for watching, for liking, for subscribing, and just for your constant support. It really means the world to me. Thank you again. Happy healing!